call the front benches now. First of all, Toby Perkins for the Labour Party. Uh, five minutes, please. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Mr Betts. Um, I'd like to start by thanking the Honourable Member for Waveney for securing uh, this debate. He is a powerful advocate for our colleges as the chair of the FE All Party Group. And it's clear that all contributors recognise the crucial role that our colleges um, play. Many took the opportunity to specifically thank and uh, acknowledge the work of their local colleges. And I've no doubt that all those contributions about the role of our colleges were genuinely felt. And as I know from my regular visits to Chesterfield College, our colleges are the providers of second chances. They're the home of around 30% of all apprenticeship learning. They're the focal point for skills strategy. For so many, they are the ro road between school failure and academic uh, and career success. They've changed the life chances of people in my family, and they're fundamentally crucial to our country having the skills it needs to cope with the twin threats to our economy of coronavirus uh, and Brexit. We've heard uh, during this debate uh, a familiar refrain that our colleges have been ignored too long by successive governments and that finally uh, they must be taken seriously. Uh, but I have to say, Mr Betts, that I somewhat take issue with this lazy characterisation and with the suggestion that recent announcements by this government constitute some kind of golden age uh, of FE. And so in welcoming the campaigning zeal of the Honourable Member uh, for Waveney, I also want to ensure that the record of this government uh, is properly put under the spotlight, because it isn't a case of it was ever thus. As was revealed by my recent written question, £2.61 billion was invested on further education capital expenditure in the final five years of the previous Labour government. In the next five years, the government reduced that spending in actual terms by a shocking 64%. In all, colleges have endured a decade of cuts, amounting to a third of their budget, whilst attempting to continue to be at the forefront of equipping young people and adults in every area of the country with the skills that they need to succeed. What's more, we've seen adult education funding slashed by 50% in real terms, we've seen appalling failure on careers guidance, and the fact that just this week, the government announced that it was scrapping its Get Help to Retrainer initiative, the centrepiece of the National Retraining Service, less, service less than three years after it was announced, should give us all pause for thought. As we enter this period when we're asked to believe that the government's finally accepted the need for a skills-based uh, economy, we do so in the shadow of the vindictive and destructive announcement that the government was scrapping funding for the Union Learn programme that their own assessment was so complimentary about and is perhaps more revealing than a thousand uh, press releases. And at the same time that we know just a few months ago the government sent back 300 million of lev levy funds back to the Treasury. Far more generous funding for the commitment-free kickstart programme uh, than for uh, apprenticeships. Uh, and I think that the honourable gentleman from Mansfield was absolutely right to say that uh, SMEs are shut out of our apprenticeships far too often. The Association of Colleges have stated that colleges face a shortfall of £2 billion uh, this academic year. Uh, there is so much more, uh, Mr Betts, to say about our further education sector, but unfortunately there isn't the time to do it. So I'll close uh, with this. Um, we need a government that recognises that colleges are a fundamental part of our skills and economic ecosystem, that doesn't pit them against universities or even see them as opponents of the independent provider sector but sees them working collaboratively across the piece. We need a government that introduces policy based on evidence and then gives policies a chance to work. We need a government that's honest that the scale of funding cuts mean that the current investment is a st tiny step back up the mountain. We need a properly resourced Department of Education that sees FE colleges working collaboratively with employers, universities, trade unions and government scheme. And we need a government that recognises that not all people can get careers advice from the father's friends uh, at the golf club. We need a skills system that works around real people's lives and supports them to retrain without their families growing hungry while they're doing it. Colleges are capable of playing that role that play in the role that we need them to, but not unless the government show the humility and the resolve to recognise where those colleges are starting from and what is required to, to help them back to the place that they should be, at the heart of a skills system, relied on by employers 
valued by learners and every, good, every bit as good as the very best in the world.